Welcome again. In our readings, we are at Luke chapter 24, verses 36 to 49. This is Jesus appearing to his disciples after he died and after he rose from the dead. Verse 36. As they said these things, Jesus himself stood among them and said, Peace be to you. In the Hebrew, be shalom alechem. But they were terrified and filled with fear and supposed that they had seen a spirit. He said to them, Why are you troubled? Why do doubts arise in your hearts? See my hands and my feet, that it is truly me. Touch me and see, for a spirit does not have flesh and bones as you see I have. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While they still didn't believe for joy and wondered, he said to them, Do you have anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of broiled fish and some honeycomb. He took some and ate in front of them. He said to them, This is what I told you while I was still with you, that all things which are written in the law of Moses, in the Torah. Okay, this is in the Torah. The, everything about Yeshua, about Jesus, is in the Torah. Let's read this again. He said to them, This is what I told you while I was still with you, that all things which are written in the law of Moshe, Moshe law of Moses, the prophets and the Psalms concerning me must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds that they might understand the scriptures. And it is my prayer that every one of you within the sound of my voice, that God would open your minds that you would understand the scriptures. I guarantee you the carnal man, the worldly man, the natural man cannot understand the scriptures. You can open the scriptures, you can start reading and like, what does this mean? What is this all about? And you could misunderstand it, misinterpret it. No, I pray that God would give you the revelation that you need to understand the scriptures. Verse 46, he said to them, Thus it is written, and thus it was necessary for the Christ, the Messiah, to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day, and that repentance, repentance that is, and remission of sins should be preached in his name to all the nations, beginning at Jerusalem. And let me just interject here. There are people today, Christians today, preachers today, that do not preach repentance. Jesus said you should preach repentance. He said this, you know, consider this. It was after he was crucified, after he rose from the dead, and now he's given instructions to his disciples. He said you should preach repentance and remission of sins in his name to all the nations. Beginning at Jerusalem. Verse 48. You are witnesses of these things. Behold, I send out the promise of my Father on you. That's speaking about the Holy Spirit. But wait in the city of Jerusalem until you are clothed with power from on high. Wait until you are clothed with power from on high. This is very vital. There are people that are going, lots of people, going out there preaching the gospel, but they are not clothed with power. You know, everybody thinks that they have the Spirit of God. Everybody thinks that they have the Holy Spirit. But are you clothed with power? That's the question. Do you have power? Are you strong, bold? You know, the Scripture says the righteous are as bold as a lion. That's powerful. It is the Spirit of God that gives you this power. Okay? You need this power. You need to be clothed with power from on high. You need to get in line with his word, to get in line with the righteousness of God, to be righteous. You know, repent of your sin and turn to God. Fulfill the righteousness of God in you. Walk out, walk out his righteousness in you. Walk it out. Walk out righteousness every single day. And power will be evidence in your life. Power will be just the fruit that you produce. You will be as bold as a lion. And I pray that every one of you will do that. You will repent of your sins, follow after righteousness, and God will give you power. Clothe you with the real holy, I say holy spirit of power in the name of Yeshua. 
Thanks for watching.